Hi, I'm Daniel Sid. Alright, so if you didn't become a musician, what would you be doing right now? Yoga instructor. <laughs> what is the weirdest or funniest question you've been asked in an interview? If my beard is real. Yes, it is. What do you feel is the best song you've ever released and why? Well, I've only got one song out, so probably that one. Which musician would you like to collaborate with next? Yo, Tabitha Nausea, I've been practicing my dance moves, so I'm ready for the stage choreo. <laughs> if you can have a fan to remember one thing about you, what would it be? Oh, I'm, I'm a pretty friendly guy. I know I'm big and can, kind of scary, but I'm a chill guy. Come say hi. <laughs> can you tell us more about that picture you posted on Instagram where you look like you are My friend has a whole bunch of these posters at his house. And Dua Lipa is one of them, so I was like, yo, I want to look like Dua Lipa. So I waxed my hair over to the side, I put on the high visibility jacket, and I was like, I am now Dua Lipa. <laughs> so what got you into music? Uh, I've always loved music since I was like a kid, and like, it was the only thing that really made me happy. So I was like, yeah, I'm gonna do music. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you could take any other musician or celebrity, who would it be and why? I feel like Ariana Grande, because she stole my cover on Top Hit Singapore, and just so I can be like, thank you, next. <laughs> Do you think you could get any better musician? And if so, how would you achieve that? Yeah, I practice like three hours a day, different instruments. So now I'm learning like the keyboard and the drums. Mm. <laughs> Lastly, if you had one message to give to your fans, what would it be? Make sure you follow me because I got a whole bunch of stuff coming out in 2019, much better than anything you're going to be here in Singapore. All right. Okay. So you then dance on the grass for us? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna chill on some greener oh, grass. Right.